Hi, I'm Matt Kale, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Cambium R195P. Uh, it's a brand new product from Cambium Networks that fits in their managed uh, residential home Wi-Fi portfolio. They have an existing product that's been on the market for a little bit, the R195, that's been a really successful home router, and Cambium Networks has been kind enough to send me a pre-production unit to get my hands on and kind of do a little unboxing and go into some details about the product and how it fits into the portfolio. So uh, let's get started. All right, so the packaging on the R195P looks very similar to the R195W that's already been out. Comes with a instruction manual. Um, this is a dual band AC wireless router that's able to be managed through Cambium's CN Maestro cloud-based system and you also can have a hosted instance of it if you'd like. <clears throat> First we'll get into the accessories. Um, it's got two telephone ports and an ethernet jack and a power supply. Uh, looks like three amps at 12 volts. So uh, first noticeable difference between the R195W and the R195P is that the P is about double the height. And I will in a second here get out the W to compare the sizes. Um, the features that are different are that the R195P uh, comes with two ATA ports, so you can do phone and fax, or two phone lines if you want, through the device. Um, and the other big feature of this router is that on its WAN port, it features PoE out, um, and that's able to power up uh, any Cambium subscriber module. Specifically, uh, Cambium talks about powering up the Force 300s and the uh, 450B subscriber modules that go with the 450 product line and the EPMP product line, and I believe it also would power up their Force 200 and Force 180 subscriber modules. Uh, it also has a USB port on the back and a WPS button. Um, when we're comparing this to the original R195, um, the R195W is considerably smaller. Um, and this also has the same WPS button on it, um, but uh, something that is noticeably different is that the R195Ws had a power switch on them and the Ps uh, do not, but they, from what I've been told, have the same wireless chipset in them and you should expect a similar range. Um, the R195W has been real popular router um, because of its value for its price point. And the R195P uh, continues that on with the same trend. Um, I think the, the R195W right now goes for $58.26, and it's one of the least expensive managed routers uh, that you can get into. Uh, Cambium doesn't charge for their cloud portal to manage this, and almost every other company does out there. Uh, it's pretty user-friendly, so you can get going and onboard it just by taking your serial number and putting it into the Cambium portal, um, and it'll push down the service plans that you'd like. So you can truly do a zero-touch configuration with either of these units, uh, which is pretty exciting. They have best-in-class warranty, which is also great, um, but that, that price point is really what's a big hit, is that for you know not having a reoccurring cost and a low entry, um, both of these products will get you a carrier grade uh, wireless solution that you can put into your customers' houses and really extend the way that you support your network. Um, you know, right now a lot of people are, uh, you know, fixed wireless ISPs and, and wireless ISPs are putting out non-managed equipment. And so your ability to troubleshoot kind of ends at the door. And this gives you the ability to troubleshoot all the way down to the device. Um, so that's pretty Pretty exciting. Um, I think the MSRP of this is $120. And so uh, 
obviously there's a price difference here. It's pretty considerable. Uh, the list price of the R195W is uh, decently high as well, but uh, if you reach out to a distributor, uh, you can get pretty aggressive pricing on both of these, and I'll include a link below on where you can go to do that. Um, how does this fit into the Cambium portfolio? Uh, well, historically before this, there was the R190 series, and before that there was the R195, um, this is, sorry, there was the R190 series, and that was for the lower end product that was a uh, BGN chipset. Um, the R185 brings both of these up to an AC chipset. And they also used to have the R201 portfolio, which had a PoE out version, which was probably the closest product to this. So I'll include kind of a little snapshot, uh, kind of a little snapshot below, but uh, I'll include a snapshot below of how this compares. Uh, you know, from my initial testing, the R185P comes in at a lower price point and also outperforms the 201p in every way uh, so that's pretty exciting seeing them you know have a next generation product that's less expensive uh what i've seen is about a 30 percent range increase and that's pretty consistent with what cambium says um and uh, i'll also go through and pull a couple images up here to show you uh one of the the neat features of this product is that uh, it supports WDS mesh, and so uh, Cambium was kind enough to inter include this picture here, uh, where it kind of shows how this would be initially set up, uh, hooking up to you know your your video on one of the Ethernet ports and a ATA port if you want to do SIP traffic or if you want to just do general phone. Uh, but the thing that's a little bit more exciting about this and the R195 is that uh, these support uh, single hop mesh with each other. And so this unit could provide, uh, the R185P can provide a mesh uplink to the R185W that's uh, you know halfway through the house or on the other side of the house to extend your coverage um, and still have a complete managed solution to doing that. Um, and that is pretty much the R185P in a nutshell. Um, they should be available in another month or so. Uh, the official release date on these is, let's see here, September 1st, 2020. Um, and it looks like Cambium expects some of these to be coming over very shortly, if not already. And this should add to a really great portfolio that they already have and extend things uh, beyond where they're at right now. If you have any questions or comments, uh, you can post them below and I'll be more than happy to attempt to answer them for you. And once again, if uh, you are interested in buying one of these, I'll include a link below as well and we'll be able to get you all helped out. And uh, thanks for watching.